Ah, 45 ACP. We're going to shoot your 45 today? Yep, I'm going to shoot my 45. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> David, uh, the Marine, I don't remember 45 ACP being a revolver ammunition. Well, it, it dates back to uh, 1917 when uh, Colt won the contract to make the 1911 for the military and they could not make enough fast enough. So the military uh, commissions Colt and Smith & Wesson to create a revolver that chambered the then new 45 ACP round and so they did, and the, the model 1917 uh, Smith & Wesson. So this is actually a descendant from the uh, 1917 revolver from 101 years ago. Let's go through some of the features of the Smith & Wesson. Well, this one is the uh, 45 model of 1989, uh, the six, model 625. It's not built on the end frame. It came out in 1988 as a special run, but they were so popular that Smith & Wesson goes, hey, let's put that in the regular lineup. So they did, and here it is. Uh, it came out in 3-inch, 4-inch, and this is the 5-inch. Uh, this ruled IDPA in the early days, so much so they had to change the rules so it couldn't <laughs> be used anymore. But it holds 6, and uh, it uh, gets maximum use out of it. It uses moon clips. You can shoot it without the moon clips, so we can show you what happens when you do that. What keeps them from falling through? I mean, normally this is uh, for a Colt 45. Right, uh, there is a shoulder in there that uh, basically catches the, uh, the case mouth of the cartridge, so it won't go in any further. And that's what makes it right there. Then so we can shoot that. It's not that easy being green. Okay, you fire those rounds. We hit the. Oh, wait. Ah. They're not coming out. <laughs> so that could be a problem. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> so you got to pick them out with your uh, fingernails, which is not the fastest way I have found. Surely there must be a better way. There must be a better way. Well, the moon clip. Back in 1917, they had the half moon clip. It only held three. And somebody said, hey, if we weld two of those together, they have a full moon. Well, yeah. <laughs> and it drops in like that. And these are semi-wide cutters. And uh -huh. not all semi-autos like these. No. Revolvers don't care. Well, what's the advantage of a semi-wide cutter? It makes a nicer hole. I guess I should have spread them out a little bit more. <laughs> but see how, you know, how kind of ragged these are and how clean these are. Yeah. So, kind of cool. That was the six rounds, by the way. And uh, unload. That's the way it's supposed to be. Just do. that easy. Yeah. It's easy to brass, pick up your brass with one of these. There it is. Now, David, this, I mean, you just throw that whole thing away? Does it come? produced like that? Well, no, uh, you have to load the clips. Okay. But to unload them, they make tools for that. Uh -huh. This is one of them. This is the simplest one they have. Also the cheapest one they have. Basically uh -huh. put in, you got a little lip there. You kind of rotate it and it comes out. And they likewise have tools to load them all at once. Okay. I don't have that one, uh, but that's not as critical as unloading it then you can reuse that okay make sure they're flat because if they you know get a spring to them then that can cause a misfire yeah you use this revolver to win the oklahoma state revolver championship in 2006. Cool. Uh, these are um, third moon clips they hold oh. two why'd you want to use these yeah i'm not <laughs> totally sure but they make them and if you're going to use them make sure that you I guess the theory is you shoot in pairs. Yeah. So if you shoot two or four, you can take those out and replace them. And these are clips. Yes. The difference between a clip 
and a magazine. People confuse the two or, or say one when they mean the other. Right. This is a clip we're using. A clip is a piece of metal that holds cartridges together. That's it. The rest, magazines. So a, a magazine has a spring and a follower. And this, of course, has none of that. This is a clip. One of the advantages is it's a fast unload, of course, but it's a fast reload. Boom. You kind of throw it in there. Jerry Michelek set a world record by firing six, reloading six in 2.99 seconds. So 12 shots with a reload oh in 2.99, he used one of these. I like to explore. In the 50s, uh, Smith & Wesson had the 25-2 model. Uh, it was a, a target version that uh, chambered this cartridge. It also used the 45 auto rim, which oh. you don't see anymore. Yeah. Because uh, I want to get in there. Yeah. Uh, but nobody had any used 25-2s because the owners of them would not sell them. And so basically the concept had kind of died until Smith & Wesson in 1988 uh, rekindled that idea. And they, they're still making this today. And, and others as well, they make uh, the, the 929, it's a uh, eight shot, nine millimeter. Wow, okay. Moon, moon clips, mm -hmm. a high capacity revolver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the uh, moon clips for revolvers is an old idea that, that still has uh, you know, modern uh, benefits. And applications, yeah. That's this, the word, applications. <laughs> the Smith & Wesson 625 may be added to your collection. If you're like us and like guns, guns for, for everybody. everybody. 